Question? Yes, my name is Robert Sigo, and I'm a lifelong resident of Reading. And before I ask my question, I would like to shake Chief Paletti's hand for his service. I'm a former Navy corpsman, served two tours with the Fleet Marine Force. It would be an honor to shake his hand. Thank you for your service. Now back to business. Um, I, have a, I found some information on the CDCR uh, website today, so I'm probably more appropriate to these gentlemen. It has to do with the funding for, the, for Shasta County, and it's probably going to go a little bit to uh, Sheriff Pasenko also. If I'm correct, it looks like for the fiscal year that just started as of July 1st, the number that I found for the budget being allocated for the uh, public safety realignment plan was $7,736,000 and some change. I'm just curious as to where, I mean, I know we're all financially strapped. I understand that completely. I'm just curious as to where, if that, if I'm reading this correctly, we're, that money's coming to this county to help with this plan, kind of what we're doing with that. Very good question. I can give you some of the big chunks of the money. Tracy can give some of the big chunks. Yeah, if I, if I can, it's really important to, for the group to understand that in the past, there has been allocated money and there will continue to be allocated money, but as the panel sits here today and as our CCP executive group meets, there's a nine county um, CAO panel that are that's figuring out the new allocation for the 14 and 15 fiscal year, and we do not have that allocation yet, um, and it's expected to be about 6.9 million, just so you know, it, and it's, it's a very vital point because we're operating here as a committee, as partners trying to manage this and as we sit here today we do not know what our Shasta County allocation will be. Get up next to the microphone there. Oh, I'm sorry. I just heard from various sources that we were getting paid so much per inmate that was being released up here and that didn't make sense to me. So if it doesn't make sense it's probably not true but it's maybe you can find some correct answers so sure and, and what the group does the community correction partnership the executive group we meet um, on a monthly basis and Sheriff Pasenko can talk a little bit more about this and the group decides how that money is going to be spent for each fiscal year um, and it's, it's in percentage in most of the justice partners that are up at the table in their public meetings, and it's the third Monday of the month. When you say public, that means any of, any of our, uh, anybody can come to that then. Correct. And hear Correct. what's going on in the uh, program. As well as on the probation department website, there's a link that says Community Correction Partnership, and you can go there to find the agenda, as well as each um, meeting minutes and in information regarding the budget. Good question for the sheriff's office. We've got $1.3 million that op op operates the one of the floors of the jail that we had due to budget cuts. We get about another 169000 to put together a compliance team in working with Shasta County Probation, Shasta County Sheriff's Office, and the Reading Police Department to go out and do compliance checks on the, the PRCSs and the manual super or, uh, mandatory supervision folks. Part of the money goes to the district attorney's office. I don't know if, Josh, if you know that money there public defender, and then mental health services and services and programs within probation. Uh, you said it funds a partial prosecutor, so not a full prosecutor, but a partial one. And then Tracy, you know how much it funds within your department, roughly in a big chunk? You know, it's about for that population, it funds several probation officers. Um, we fund the Community Correction Center, which is our entry into, into our system for probation and supervision, as well as our day reporting center. Um, and it does fund some, it funds the GPS program that the sheriff in probation operates. And there are some of those funds, um, probably about a, maybe close to 6% of that, that goes to, um, to HHSA for um, drug and alcohol services, as well as mental health services. And if you want, we can get you, there's a public document that shows the breakdown. And uh, if you get a hold of one of us afterwards, we can see that you should get that. Chief, did you have, okay.